Hi, Ken. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you so much for having me. You are the executive producer for a film that's coming out this June called Hiding in Plain Sight about youth mental health. I couldn't make sense of the emotions. Why am I acting this way? When I'm mad on the inside, I'm mad on the outside. When feelings really interfere with their everyday ability to live, that's a challenge. I'm, I'm really proud of the film. I think it will save lives. It's so critically important because there's an epidemic, not just among young people, but across the board as a result of the pandemic and just the challenges of a, of a modern life. Also, my own uh, history was instrumental in doing it. My mother got sick with cancer when I was two or three years old. There was never a moment when I was aware, a conscious being, when there wasn't this, you know, looming shadow over my family. And three months from my 12th birthday, when I was 11, she passed away. Almost all of that time was filled with stomach aches and anxiety on my part, inability to go on field trips, all of that stuff. And after she died, um, I saw my father cry for the first time at a movie. He hadn't cried when she was sick, hadn't cried when she died, hadn't cried at her funeral. And so I understood that in some ways life had dealt him a complicated hand and that filmmaking was, for him, uh, provided an emotional safe harbor where he could express himself. And I kind of vowed at that moment at 12 that I would become a filmmaker. That meant, you know, a famous Hollywood, you know, like Alfred Hitchcock. I know that a lot of people recently and a lot of young people recently have lost their family members to COVID, other illnesses, um, accidents, etc. So do you have a message for young people who are grieving and trying to process the death of someone close to them? Everybody's grief is so unique to their own. There's no one size fits all. I've got four daughters and, and each one of them, I've, I've been able to give them what I call the three things. One is this won't last. Sometimes mental illness does last and is there for a lifetime. But in, in our situational distress, sometimes reminding people that everything is always changing all the time, that this won't last. To get help from others, which is often hard to do, but the hardest thing of all is the third one, to be kind to yourself. And we have to um, be compassionate towards everyone, and we also have to bring some of that or reserve some of that compassion for ourselves because we'll we'll need it thank you so much for speaking with us have a great day thank you